Hi, hope you guys are doing all right. So I'm actually volunteering at the Toronto Comic Con this weekend. I'm on my way to my first shift. It's so far not doing, <laughs> we're not doing too great considering I forgot an umbrella. I'm late, I didn't have time for breakfast. It's raining. That's also, I guess, important, but I bet you guessed that by the no umbrella part. And I have never volunteered at a convention before or I haven't gotten to Comic-Con yet. I've gone to Fan Expo and Animathon, but you know, it's a great way to... <laughs> yep. <laughs> In a way, it's like I can't even be nervous anymore. Everything already went wrong. <laughs> I'm actually like kind of excited now. It kind of sucks that uh, all my makeup and stuff is that was ruined. But basically after my shift, I get access to the convention, which is nice. It's not the reason I'm doing it. I would have just bought a ticket anyways, but I do get access to the convention afterwards. And I thought it'd be fun to make a video of taking you guys along with me while I explore the rest of the convention. Anyways, until then, I'll let you know how my shift goes and I'll see ya, bye. all over my tablet, I can't even like hit like buttons, it's not working, it's like, oh, oh. that's how I feel right now, just a little bit more awkward. <laughs> all right, okay.
back home, the con is over, and I thought I would take a moment to talk about, you know, the volunteering experience, the con a bit, and then also show you guys what I got. So volunteering wise, it went way better than I expected. The first day was pretty slow because I was at the autograph center and not many of the celebrities arrived yet, so, you know, there wasn't very much to do, but that was good because it was a slow paced environment to learn the job, especially because I was definitely in the thick of it on the second day. This was a Saturday, I had the morning shift, and it was definitely busy the entire time while I was there, which I actually really loved because I really liked the work I was doing. I'm so happy I got put in the autograph center. I just, I volunteered because I wanted to feel like I was contributing and, you know, working and making this thing run. And it really felt like I was doing that at the volunteer center. It's not like I was just like sitting there doing nothing the whole time, which I'm sure is great if you maybe you're trying to like just check out some volunteer hours and you know, just want to be there, but I really wanted to like contribute and I felt like I was contributing. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> basically, yeah, the second day was pretty hectic. And then the third day wasn't hectic, especially because I had the later shift on the Sunday. So things were winding down, but I also did get assigned to like run a section all on my own for the first time. So that was another experience. And man, I was nervous. I mean, I was nervous this entire time. But luckily, all of the volunteers there were so nice. I met some really cool people, people that I'm excited to volunteer with in the future, which I definitely want to volunteer for cons in the future. I'll get to that in a second, though. But yeah, they were so nice. The leads were nice. Shout out to Megan. I felt so supported with her being there. Um, and shout out to Brad for all the organizing and then every other lead and person there. It was honestly, everybody was so amazing. And also I really, really liked to talk to the people in line. Like it was so fun getting to talk to people about to get autographs and people they liked. Like you could just see the excitement on their face. There were some people too that were literally like checking off, you know, they would have a picture and then they would get <laughs> an autograph from every single person in that picture. And they would be like, this is my last one. And it was just so fun. It was honestly, Honestly, it was really nice being there. No matter how nervous and anxious and stressed I was, I'm really not selling this, am I? But like, no matter all of that, it was honestly, I'm so happy I did it. I absolutely want to do it again. I loved the people that I met there. I loved the experience and yeah. <laughs> uh, in the future, things like, I really want to volunteer at Anime North, but even though I've sent in what I need to the place that I need, they haven't responded yet. And so I'm thinking like, maybe I sent those things in too early. Maybe I need to wait till April. I don't know, but it's a volunteer run convention. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I really want to volunteer there. I promise I'll do a good job. <laughs> And then also things like, I think it's either Comic-Con or Fan Expo happening in Niagara Falls. And I really want to do that. The only issue is that in this case, it means I would have to get like a hotel or something like that. So it's a bit more of a monetary commitment that I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do. Um, and that's just volunteering wise. Honestly, the convention was really nice as well. Admittedly, I was kind of lonely just going around on my own <laughs> on my off hours, but I still really liked being there. The atmosphere was really fun, you know, being surrounded by geek stuff and people with similar interests and cosplays. Oh my God, I loved seeing all the different cosplays. It was so fun. Um, also things like getting to walk around all the different vendors, like you guys saw that. It was was really nice. The few panels and, you know, little show things that I went to were really fun. And no matter, you know what, like, honestly, 
two things can exist at the same time. I was a bit lonely, but I was also just really happy to be there. And I'm really happy that I went and, you know, did that experience. Um, I've fallen in love with going to cons. It's not something I did before. You guys literally saw my first con at Fan Expo with Gwen. And then my second one was at Animathon, also with Gwen. <laughs> And this was actually my third con, so I'm actually pretty inexperienced when it comes to cons. And it's because of that, okay, sorry, I'm getting excited. It's because of that, they're like, please tell me about your con experiences. Like, have you volunteered at a con before? Have you gone to one? Have you like helped run one? Or were you a vendor there? Did you have a good experience or a bad experience? I wanna hear it, I wanna hear it all. <laughs> But yeah, I got really sidetracked there and we're gonna get back on track, which is basically to say, I am going to two other cons like as a guest. I'm gonna be going back to Animathon in July and then also to Fan Expo in August. So I'm really excited about those. Uh, not volunteering there, but just guest, you know? And this time I'm going to cosplay. It's gonna happen. You know why it's gonna happen is because I'm making a video and I'm saying it to a bunch of people. So I have, I have to commit to it. And I actually know what I'm gonna cosplay. It's not gonna be my alter maid figure one, though maybe it will be if the first one works out. It's actually gonna be another figure of mine. I'm hoping to make a video of it, and I'm saying it right now to the public because then it'll hold me accountable. <laughs> hold me accountable, please. I need to make this happen. I need to stop saying I'm gonna do it and just do it. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. <laughs> Off topic again, okay. <laughs> With all of that said, let's just get into <laughs> Let's just get into sharing the things that I picked up from the con um, and, you know, do that. So the first thing that I'm going to show is actually the first thing that I got while I was there. And it was from Homebody Collective, I believe. But all of the artists will be linked in the description down below so that you guys can like check them out for yourself. But basically they sold a bunch of like little, little cactus pot things. <laughs> and they were so cute and I loved them a lot. And I fell in love with this little Bulbasaur one because I do, I do like Pokemon. <laughs> now the thing is, because I bought this in person, it came with the cactus, but they don't usually sell the cactuses um, when you like buy it online and whatnot. So if you do see them at a con, make sure to pick one up because they'll come with a little cute cactus. My issue though, is that uh, the last time I had a cactus, the only plant that I've ever owned, I think I killed it in like a month. <laughs> like, I don't know how I did that. I literally did research on how to take care of cactuses and it still just died. <laughs> this guy's already not looking too hot. I don't, I'm so scared. If anybody has tips on how to like take care of this cactus, please tell me. <laughs> I don't even know what kind it is. But look how, look, oh my God, look how cute he is. Ugh. I was kind of torn between two, but I think I really like this one because it kind of matched the colors of Bulbasaur, but also, you know, it was like a little fun and swirly and whatnot. Anyways, yeah, basically very cute. Love it a lot. Tips are appreciated. <laughs> and then getting into some small prints that I got, um, I did end up getting one from Astro, Astrox, not Astrox, I don't know. Um, I got this really cute witch prints. I feel like I've seen this art everywhere on Pinterest and so I'm really excited that I saw them like at the convention and got to pick something up. I really like this very like simplified style um, and it's something that I want to take inspiration from in my own work though I have a long way to go before I can do anything as nice as this but I just really fell in love with this print and I think it was like the second last print or something like the last print of this size in this uh, illustration. So I got really lucky. I thought this on the first day, it was already selling out. Oh my God, okay. But yeah, I really liked it. Then I did actually get a couple things from Tokyo Shoujo. Now something that would kind of happen, and it happened with the last print that I just showed, is that I would go up to a stall and like ask if I could film and whatnot. And then they would say yes, and then I would film. <laughs> um, really riveting uh, story there. So that would happen. And then as I was filming, I would, you know, start taking a closer look at all the things that they had. And then I would, you know, fall in love with something and buy it. So in this case, I fell in love with this frog print. I just thought it was so cute um, and fun. And then they got me because they got buy two, get one free. So I was like, okay, if that's the case, is there another one I like? And there was, so I think you call these Taniki. I could be wrong, I'm probably wrong, but I think it's a Taniki. Um, and I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, adorable. So I got that. Um, but now I had a free print that I needed to get. 
And so I decided to get this fire, Firefox, <laughs> Firefox, <laughs> the uncertainty came out um, because I really liked it because I felt like it brought in, you know, the colors from the other two, like they all match together. And so I got these three little mini prints. I also really like mini prints because I feel like you can put them in details, which I always think I'm gonna do and I just never do. Maybe it'll happen one day, I don't know. But also you can put them in binders and it's a lot easier to like store them. Though, despite the fact that I was kind of determined not to get a big print, I did because I saw this print and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it is this one here. It's an original artwork by the artist. I honestly can't remember what the artist's name is, but yeah, I just absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was really great. The style is nice. Another thing where I kind of want to take inspiration from it in the future for my own art. And I just really like it, so I got it. So that's all in terms of the art prints, but I did get a couple art pieces because there was this vendor or artist who was selling like little mini canvases and she would hand paint them all and the like design on them would be inspired by something, whether that was like Ghibli, Avatar The Last Airbender, Star Wars, um, or anything along the lines of that. And you could always find out what, what it was inspired by, by what was on the back. So as you can see, the first one I got was inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender. What is that? Season, season one, episode five. <laughs> and it is this here, I honestly forget what this is called, but it's so cool. They're all hand painted. They even have magnets on the back as you saw. And I just fell in love with them. Though I didn't get the flower one that I showed in the vlog and I really regretted it. So on the third day I went back to try to see if it was still there, but it wasn't and I was so sad. But because I was there, I just ended up buying another one. So I got <laughs> the one that's inspired by season one intro and it just looks like this. Very nice, so cool, so detailed, so amazing. I don't know where I'm gonna put these, but I wanna use the magnet, so we're gonna see if we can do that. And yeah. <laughs> now that's all in terms of Artist Alley, but as you guys saw, I also ended up going to this Genshin stall that had all this like official Genshin merch. Um, and I picked up this little tiny slime here. So before this, I actually had three of these slimes, the bigger versions, pre-ordered on AmiAmi, and I was so unsure about whether I wanted to get them or not. Like, did I want to have that money for myself or did I really care if I had these? And I was really on the fence about it. So I was excited when I saw this stall and they actually had the plushes there so I could like see them in person and decide. And ultimately it took until the third day to finally decide to cancel all those on AmiAmi and then just get a little tiny Cryro slime um, and I'm so happy that I did because <laughs> literally by that third day, I was so <laughs> overwhelmed and burnt out. Like it was really getting to me and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna get through my whole shift. <laughs> but like getting this slime and just putting it on my bag, it was so nice to just hold. <laughs> Like it, 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 it like grounded me, I guess. I don't know. It just, it felt really nice to just hold. Like it, I loved it. It was honestly one of the best decisions I ever made that weekend. <laughs> and I'm so happy I got it. And then also I did get a little card pack from them because I was curious, I've seen these around. And I, you know, opened it up on camera, but like before, because I was too impatient to wait for filming. Um, and I got all of these cards. There's not really much to say about what I got, though I will say I don't mind getting the shiny Raiden Shogun. Um, you know, she is a permanent part of my party at the moment, so it's like, cool, I guess I have her. Though I'm not, I'm honestly not a really big fan of her uh, character. And admittedly, I did drop this on the ground overnight and it got scratched up. Oops, sorry. <laughs> But then I guess what I am really happy about, funny enough, is the regular card I got Aether instead of Lumine. Um, and that's cool because as anyone who's been on my channel knows, I use Aether in the game. Though, uh, <laughs> you know how I get like really excited about things, like super obsessed about them and that I can't stop talking about them and, and you know, that whole thing happens and then I kind of calm down after a while and either stop really caring about them at all or just like them a more casual amount. That definitely happened with Genshin. <laughs> I definitely am not at a place where I was before, where you guys saw me, where I'm like, need to talk about it all the time. I don't even play it all the time, um, but I still, you know, check in here and there. I still have characters I like. 
Um, I ended up canceling my Zhao figure in hopes of getting him at a cheaper price when he got released, but instead um, his pre-order price just went up and now I'm sitting here regretting it so much that I canceled that figure. Why did it go up? That doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm saying is I like it a more casual amount now. So, you know, I do like this and I'm happy to get this. But I'm also happier to have just a small little plush instead of three big ones. I also canceled Ganyo. I didn't cancel Ethers, though. Um, I think I should probably make a video giving you guys an update on my pre-orders and where I'm at and stuff like that. But every time I think about how to say it, uh, the same problem that happened before happens where I'm like, oh, what if I change my mind? <laughs> what if I whatever? I don't know, I guess channel update. I was super burnt out obviously, and then now I'm kind of less burnt out, and I was working on a video that ended up getting cancelled, my patrons know, <laughs> um, and I don't know, that's the channel update. It, the videos will come out and they'll be what they'll be. <laughs> that's the future of my channel. <laughs> I appreciate anyone who stuck around or anyone that have liked the channel before, I don't know. <laughs> The internet is such a permanent place. It's so scary to like say anything definitive because usually I completely change within the next month and then I'm like, no, what do I do? <laughs> but with all that said, um, <laughs> was anything really said at all? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> with all that said, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me on Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope that everybody has an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.